Hello everyone and welcome to my second video blog. This is here in sunny Cornwall. Got a bit of blue sky today which is nice. It's still a bit cold though but we can kind of make do. Put on a few layers. Firstly I just want to say thank you very much to all of you who have supported me the last week. I've had such a great response from my video, especially my music video. My Twitter page has had a few more followers. My Facebook page has had a few more likes, so it's really, really appreciated. As I told you in my last video, the main thing these videos would do is to let you guys know what I'm going to be playing for you next week. And I've chosen to play a John Butler song for you. Now, as many of you know, as many of my friends know, John Butler is a very, very big influence of mine. He is hands down my favourite musician and Ocean being one of the most inspirational piece of music I've ever heard in my life kind of changed my perspective on how the guitar can be played, how music can be created. John Butler really introduced me to like blues grass and roots music which is mainly what I play now and definitely open tuning is a big part of my kind of play style now. I've picked to play a song called Mystery Man by John Butler. If you don't know John Butler, please, please check him out. Last year he did a version of Ocean and posted it on the internet so that people can watch a video of it, but they could also download the track themselves. So as like a thank you to his fans, he made this video. So I'm gonna post a link in the box below to that song. I'm pretty sure that song will really change your opinion on music and it really, you know, everybody should like it. Like I said, I'm gonna be playing Mystery Man which is one of my favourite songs. It was a very hard choice because I love John Butler and I know so many of his songs. It was really, really hard for me to figure out which one to play first. But hopefully you'll like the upcoming video. I've been practicing loads and I even got my nails done. This is what my nails are like now. It's so uncomfortable because I'm completely not used to having nails. This is what they used to be like, little stubs, because I'm just an avid biter of nails. This has really helped me in my finger picker. I've never known what it's like to have nails and the sound is so much better, so hopefully I'll be using these more regularly and I won't have to use a plectrum anymore because you can kind of use the finger to strum as well, so that's really good. That's all from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please check in the box below. I'll be linking to my Facebook, Twitter and the Adam Ford Music YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and all the support from everybody. I really praise you on that, but thank you very much. Have a good day and I'll see you all soon. Bye.